Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this photograph of a of a file. And just for information, the looks like the backer board is a piece of masonite, which you get at Home Depot or Lowe's. It cuts really good. Um, and it's level and flat. The outside is maybe a plywood. Now, I've already kind of started. Uh, there are nesting programs, but all of them are going to nest at two symmetrical you want them you want them irregular i personally don't like this one because some of them are upside down i mean once the people are gonna you know maybe glue these in someday uh, ryan is going to be upside down hard to read so i think they should be at, a, at different angles but all kind of up straight so i'm going to show you how i drew the little heart and so i've got two hearts i've got an outer shape and an inner shape and all I did to draw the heart, I went to basic shapes or common shapes, depending on what version of Corel you have. Hold down the control button and make that. And then go, make it an eight point line. We actually need to make it a little bit bigger. And then go to object and convert the outline to an object. Left click, right click, and there's your heart. So I've already got some, I've already started. Sorry about that. And I thought I'd show you a, maybe a secret, not a secret, but a way to make it a little bit easier. Once you have this many hearts done, and maybe like these two are too equal, but uh, just hit the plus key on your keyboard and move them over to another spot. And if you keep choosing different ones, you'll get different rotations. Now, the only thing you don't want to do you don't want an inferior, and in that one, this one's not going to fit here because you don't want to mess up with the inside of the heart. And, you know, we could fix that. Well, those were grouped together. And let me just ungroup them for a second and put them back because I'm going to show you, and maybe you can start here. You just, in my, what I mean by don't mess up with the interior part is you don't want to mess up with that part. You don't want that cut or messed up. The outside wall doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to do it kind of quick here. You know, so if you if you get to a point where something doesn't fit, um, move them all. You know, and you could take this and rotate it. And as long as it doesn't mess up, I don't think there's any way in this. So what we're going to do is just move this one over here. And then try to do this one here. And if you just move it close and then just keep moving these to as long as the, you know, interior ones, you know, not being touched. And this is where you want to set your nudge factor, like on point two, because then you can nudge real lightly. I'm going to do a couple more. And so like grab one from there, hit the plus key in your keyboard, you know, go here. Uh, maybe get this rotation one. Those are grouped. Let's go ungroup them for a second. Grab that one. Plus key on your keyboard. I would use the plus key on my keyboard and not the duplicate key because if you duplicate it, you're going to keep getting, the next time you duplicate, you're, it's going to move quite a bit. And they have some big gaps in the, in the original. And, you know, I'm not saying you need to... Uh, match the original because this way it'll be yours you know like i said theirs have some that are upside down which i don't agree in but what i'm saying if so now grab this one hit the plus key that way they're going to be rotated at different angles you know then then this one plus key and then you know as long as you're touching two of the hearts i think it'll be strong enough that's one thing you got to think about here, we're going to get back to three. We're going to get a three hearts. Let's do just a couple more. Then I'm going to show you what might save some time. Let's do one more. And this could save you some time. If you drew your heart with the control button, let's, gr let's group these together, control G. 
let's hit the plus key on the keyboard and then mirror them. Start moving that and hold down the control button. And we're a little bit off, so just kind of nudge it. I might not have drawn a perfect heart. There you just doubled your work. You saved you that much time. And like we got one off, and so what you'd want to do, I would want to ungroup all, all of them. So you can look at them. Uh, you know, you might even want to use a smart fill tool to fill some in to make sure you're not encroaching on the other one. So let's say we've got that many done. So you're possibly a third of the way done. The best way I found, see I've got that lock so I couldn't grab it. Uh, lock and unlock. If you try to weld this right now, it's not gonna work. And I hate to say you have to do this, but weld this. And then those are welded together. Okay. Then since I'm using the center of the page, I can just hit P. And by the time you figure out how to do this, you could have taken the virtual segment delete key and deleted these lines. Because this is the interior part of the heart. You just don't want to delete that other line like there. You do not want to do that. So let me zoom in here. Always better to zoom in. You just don't want to get rid of any of the interior part of the heart. And this just will take a second. Um, you know, by the time you figure out why the weld key didn't work um, or the weld function, and I, I'm sure there's a reason I'm doing it wrong. I kind of like virtual segment to leaky. Now, I'm not going to do the other side, but we're going to bring our other heart in and hit P. So that's going to be your border. Voila. There's your... And then I would strongly suggest you do this every once in a while and check things. And then once you virtually segment, delete those. And I would just... I'd make... I would go ahead and do the whole heart first. Yeah. I would go ahead and... and uh, do it all the way around. Um, you know, there's quite possibly, you know, way you could use the same scenario by going to group. Oh, they're welded, so now you can. You know, before we welded them, you could have possibly made a duplicate and, you know, done like this and saved you some little bit of time. You know, you might have some moves some hearts around. I hope somebody else chimes in that would know a better way. And then this is just a heart that is well at the bottom and then another heart um, done. And then you the piece is cut out. And then there's just sitting there the stands. It's easy. It's an easel. Anybody should be able to make that. It's just a box. But maybe somebody will chime in in the next couple of days. And if it does, I'll send it to the gentleman that was asking for help. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.